Hi, Aaron from Spider Arms here. And today we're going to take a look at the Huntertown Arms Kestrel 556. We're going to do a quick overview of it, break it down so you can see the internals, and we'll put a few rounds through it and see how she does. Hope you like the video. All right, here you can see the uh, Kestrel 556 comes with this new packaging. Uh, it's actually kind of nice. Uh, I, I liked it. Slides open. Comes wrapped with this plastic sheath over it to help keep it protected. Um, move this out of the way here. Slides out easy enough. And uh, it's pretty nice. I like the design of it. The uh, texture of it and everything's pretty nice. Threaded half by 28. These retail for $499, uh, which is a pretty good price for what you get. Um, if we break it down here, it's really nice. It just breaks in half. Slides open to one end. What's nice is it has this internal sleeve here, which is really nice because it keeps, if you do have a baffle strike or something, it keeps everything internally. So that way nothing happens to the actual outer part of your suppressor. Because this is the part you can't replace. Actually this side's the serialized part, so you only have to worry about damaging this. That makes it nice. This has got your standard baffles in it. Just stack one on top of the other. That's your blast chamber. And just stack back together. Pretty nice design. Slide it back in. There you go. This piece does screw in and out. Um, let's see if I can get it. That's a little too tight right now, but this also is interchangeable. I believe you can get other uh, thread patterns for them. You know, if you if you had it threaded some other something else than uh, half by 28. But get the screws back together. And that's it. Pretty nice. I guess we'll uh, take it out and shoot it now. For our uh, first test, we're going to use my M16. It's got a 10 and a half inch barrel on it, and uh, we're going to be using Winchester 223, 45 grain. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any subsonic ammo, so you're still going to get that sonic crack. But let's see how it how it sounds. It's real easy to do. Take your flash hider off. Unscrew that. Take your can. Thread it on. Nice and tight.
definitely doesn't do bad. Does not hurt the ears like uh, it would if it was uh, non-suppressed. But uh, other than that, it does really good. Didn't hurt the ears at all. One of the nice things about suppressors is you can always go smaller. This is for a 5.56, so anything smaller than that, you can shoot with this as long as you have a half by 28 inch thread on there, you're good to go. So next we're going to be shooting my uh, Ruger 1022. We're going to be using Remington 22 subsonic rounds. Uh, this is going to be a lot quieter because it's 22 and they're subsonic. So let's hear what it sounds like. Definitely a lot quieter. Uh, you can barely hear the gun. You hear the ting of the uh, steel targets being hit. I mean, it's just it's great fun. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Once again, this is the uh, Hunter Town Arms Kestrel 556. It retails for $499. Uh, if you want one, give us a call.